collapsing law, where premiums are getting higher and higher, and the choices are getting fewer and fewer to the point where people just have no choices left at all. This law is in a collapse, and we have an obligation to rescue people from that collapse. So, Speaker Ryan, yesterday on our program there, can Republicans keep their campaign promise to repeal and replace? House Speaker Paul Ryan now rallying support to salvage his plan, but many apparently are not buying it. Senator Rand Paul reportedly walked out of a meeting just yesterday. More on that in a moment. Katie Pavlich, editor at townhall.com, and a Fox News contributor. Katie, good morning to you. Good morning. Remember the famous wor infamous words of Nancy Pelosi, you got to pass it to know what's in it. Yes. We do. Well, there's <laughs> a danger in that, right? Of course. I mean, Nancy Pelosi famously said that in order to find out what's in Obamacare, they had to pass it first. Well, that has caused a lot of problems for the American people, state governments, and for the federal government when it comes to Obamacare. And so Republicans are in a place now where they can't just pass any kind of bill to repeal Obamacare and then find out what's in it later. They have to be very careful about how they go about this and repealing certain parts of it, repealing it all at once. With making sure they know exactly what they're doing and what the consequences for their actions will be. Got it. Okay, so you have been in contact with people on the Hill to lay out a schedule for what's what comes next. Right. But based on your conversations, what's the understanding about where it is today and where it goes? Well, yesterday, Paul Ryan, during his press conference, uh, he said that they were taking this step by step. And now the House Ways and Means Committee is saying that they want to offer relief through the new budget by repealing Obamacare taxes. We see the House now wanting to uh, take back this individual mandate that requires people to buy insurance or they get penalized by the IRS. They want to take that away. And those are really things that if you take them out of the system, Obamacare starts to collapse further than we've already seen. But in terms of an actual timeline of when this is going to occur, when full repeal is going to happen, it's really tough to tell. And also from the White House, we've seen uh, President Trump say he wants the whole thing mean something to replace it. And then, of course, there's the other side of the argument where if Republicans aren't willing to follow up with their campaign promises of full repeal and pretty quickly, they're going to see some hurt at the ballot box when it comes to voters not being afraid to tell them that they're not going to put up with broken promises. On that point, Rand Paul said this on screen. I hear um, things that are unacceptable to me. If they don't seem to care what conservatives think about complete repeal of Obamacare, they're going to be shocked when they count the votes. That goes to right. your point, right? Well, and this is the balance between conservative voters who put a lot of these people into office in 2010, 2014, and President Trump in 2016. But then you have the other side of the equation of people who are, there's not a lot of them, but there are a few people who do like Obamacare. There are a lot of people who like a few of the things in it, for example, staying on your parents' health insurance until you're 26, the non-pre-existing condition uh, function of the law. So there are some things that are popular that conservatives on the Hill and Republicans have said maybe we should keep. But then again, we have the argument, which is stopping Republicans from moving forward with this in terms of do you repeal the whole thing? If you do, what should you keep from the old wow. Obamacare uh, system okay. that we can now implement in a new bill? Final question. Uh, let's underline this. Based on your reporting and your conversations, do you think this happens or not? I think it happens step by step, as uh, Speaker Ryan has talked about. Obamacare was put into place as a thousand plus, you know, two thousand plus page piece of legislation. I think Republicans are very skeptical that they can just repeal something and not figure out the political fallout and be accountable for their actions when it comes to knowing what they're doing, knowing what the consequences of their legislation are going to be, and understanding that people are going to hold them accountable for the actions that come as a result of repeal. Well, but, but no schedule. Uh, you can't but say. No big you can't schedule. say weeks, you can't I, even say there, months. There are very few, there are some things that will happen in the next couple of weeks, like the budget taking out Obamacare taxes, for example. The president signed an executive order recently repealing a lot of the regulations that go on Obamacare. But in terms of a full repeal bill, we're not going to see that, I think, for at least a, a year or two. In, wow. Interesting reporting, Katie. When you get more coming back, okay? Katie Pavlich Sounds there good. from Thanks, Washington so. today. Thank you.